Thank you for joining us for Whitworth Community High School's Year 6 welcome video and for your commitment to supporting your child's transition to secondary school. I'm delighted that your child has been offered a place here and I know some of you were very concerned about whether you will be successful and some of you have gained a place by the waiting list or through appeal. We had a huge number of first preferences this year and that reflects our school's popularity and our reputation as well as new house building in the area. And currently we still have a significant number of year six children on our waiting list. You all have your own reasons for seeking a place here at Whitworth. And when I asked our current year sevens, they had lots of different reasons too. Because it's the best school around and gets great reviews and great exam results. Or because I liked the tour when I visited and saw all the activities that you can do. Or because this school has a really good community spirit. And I think our year sevens are very perceptive. There is one simple fact that I want to emphasise. Students whose parents and carers work with us do very well here at Whitworth because they know that we all share the same high expectations of them. This has been highlighted so strongly during the current COVID-19 lockdown. Students with families who support their child and who also support the school, who share our values and want their child to succeed and who trust the school to do a good job they are the students who have excelled even at the most difficult times. A few years ago, people sometimes said that they chose Whitworth Community High School because it's near my house or because I didn't get into the school that I wanted. But now, getting a place here at Whitworth is an excitement and for some families, a relief. Having gained a place in Year 7, your children are getting ready to move onwards and to climb higher here at Whitworth. We know that this term and this year has not been easy for your child. They've missed out on so much, on the rites of passage from primary to secondary that make and mark the last term of year six. But we also know that children are very resilient and that the experiences that they have had throughout primary school and the skills and qualities they've developed during the lockdown and since the return to school will mean that many of them are just as ready as they would have been to move up to secondary school. If they are as brilliant as our current year sevens, then they will settle very easily and do really well in September. Successful transition is about a number of elements. It's about social and pastoral links. Having opportunity to meet the students they will be with is something that sadly can't happen this year. But using the information that primary schools share with us will help us to give our students a strong start and to enable us to give them the additional challenge or support that they need. Mrs Coley has ensured that our pastoral transition booklet covers many of the questions that you and your child may have and we've also been able to meet some students via Zoom and other meeting platforms. Academic transition is a key focus for us. We don't want children to get out of the good learning habits from primary school over the summer and so our transition booklet supports academic transition and shows us the different strengths that students have when they join us from different primary schools whether that's art, science, music, PE. Transition is also about making our expectations clear and you'll find a lot in our information about our seven expectations or the seven respects as students call them. They are absolutely non-negotiable for families as well as students. And part of our transition process is about you as parents knowing, understanding and sharing our high expectations. Whether that's to do with behaviour, to do with independent learning or homework or uniform. What we do need you to do to enable your child to succeed and our school to continue to climb higher is a number of things. We need you to support your child and we need you to support the school community to which you now belong. We need you to work with us to both support and challenge our young people throughout their time with us. We need you to make sure that your child meets our seven expectations and we need you to celebrate your child's achievements and rewards and to reinforce any sanctions at home. It's no use a parent complaining to us if their child has had a mobile phone confiscated, for example, when all our policies state very clearly that they're not allowed in school. There's no point a parent being upset if a child is in internal exclusion for having an extreme haircut when our policies are very clear on what's acceptable and what isn't. And we advise parents to contact us in advance if they are unsure. 
There is no point in someone posting on social media hiding behind a keyboard, the bane of every school's life, if they don't agree with something that we do in our school, or if they've heard a rumour, or if their child has been in trouble for wearing trainers, or if they want to grumble about socks or not being able to wear skin-tight trousers. Because social media, very fortunately for all of us, doesn't make school decisions. Likewise, we need to know if you think your child is going to need extra support, or if you have worries about them, if family circumstances change, if there is an illness in the family, or if you think they're not settling in. A simple fact is that students whose parents and carers work with us and support the school and our vision and our values, they thrive and they succeed in all aspects of school life. And that brings me on to two evenings that we hope to hold next term when it's going to be very important that families attend. Firstly, in September, we hope to have our settling in evening online. This is a drop-in session from 5 till 7 p.m. when parents and carers will be able to phone in or meet online to speak with their child's form tutor. By this time, your child will have had a period of time in Year 7. Their first lessons in their subjects, they'll have found their way around the school. But they may also have queries about things you hadn't previously considered, or which might just have emerged, or you might just want to call in for a quick chat. In October, we hope to have our Year 7 Cheese and Wine and Information Evening. It would obviously be quite difficult to have cheese and wine online. That's an opportunity for you to discuss with your child's form tutor or with the school leadership team any concerns you may have or to check how your child is doing. It's usually a chance to meet parents and carers of your child's new friends and it's a chance for us to meet with you if we have concerns about your child or indeed if they're doing brilliantly. One of our current students said that this was one of the things she remembers most from this busy year, her parent getting to meet, if only online, the parents of her new friends. There is a lot to take in as your child prepares for the move to secondary school, but you can find a lot of what you need to know in our pastoral transition booklet. If you have any unanswered questions, please don't hesitate to email school to get them answered. Your question might be answered by Mrs Corley or by a member of our pastoral team, by someone from admin, another member of the leadership team, or a teacher from a particular subject area, because we want to ensure that your child is really looking forward to joining us here at Whitworth Community High School and is well prepared for that transition so that they can begin their journey of climbing higher.